protein like you've never tried it before. <laughs> I'm so sorry. We're gonna go left or right. So we'll start on the bars. So just kind of give you the rundown on what we got. So the first one is a lemon cheesecake using our ingredient called PB8420. So it's a, it's a milk protein that the whole purpose is to improve the structure and softness of the bar, to last through the shelf life. So for example, this one was produced um, in May of 2023. So it's what, almost six months old, five, six months. So feel free to grab it. Cheers. So. Wow. Yeah. Great job flavoring this. Holy shit, yeah, that's delicious. This one uses an ingredient we have called soft bar. So the concept we put together is soft bar, our protein, combined with real nut butter, or peanut butter in this case, to give you more of an, we call it the indulgent bar. So you can use any nut butter, combine it. It's gonna give you a great soft texture without the protein notes, the dryness. Um, it's like eating a, a peanut butter cup, honestly. So, dig so in. It's a different protein designed to do this? Different protein ingredient, yes. Wow, okay. <laughs> it's okay, you don't have to I get you, man. I heard I got a savory. The mouth watering is yep. you get the peanut butter in there and like it's got that after peanut butter like when you eat a scoop of peanut butter you get that lingering you get that on the bar this is one of our newest concepts uh we call it the protein in every layer bar and the reason being there's protein in every layer your middle one is a fat filling that uses mysel pure which is our micellar casein isolate then your bar mass is uh an ingredient we have for protein bars called easy bar so structure texture softness um which you'll find in a moment and then our whey fat concentrate is in the chocolate and robing. So you can get, for example, a full size concept bar we made is about 55 grams. It's around 17 grams of protein in the bar. So you're cutting the bar much smaller than most, but your protein's still up there. And obviously that can be changed, but um, it's a yeah, it's a very good and experience. Also can Don't make me wait any longer. <laughs> I want I, you can kind of tell it is like a fat layer. It's like kind of oily. Ooh. I Oh, that rivals like finished good bars in the market. I like that I bit into it and the uh, the center layer like shot out. There's nothing like that. There's an experience. Yeah. Yeah. So everybody's favorite, it seems in this market right now, protein brownies. So this again goes back to one of our ingredients called soft bar. So all about the texture and experience. Um, it's got the walnuts on it. So it's uh, more of a dark chocolate brownie in my opinion. But yeah, feel free to try it. You'll notice the texture. Um, I'll let you guys say your experience on the texture, but yeah, Ben's had more. I'm a, I'm a brownie guy. That's really good. So as a brownie guy, how's it compare to what's currently in the protein space? It's very light and fluffy. Most of the ones now are like very dense and thick. That's really nice. Very so cool. in this one, this is another newer one we have. Um, we call it the American cookie. It uses, uh, we, we just call it cookies. Um, <laughs> it is ISO whey bar as our protein ingredient. And it, it basically bakes like a cookie. And I'm telling you, this is like as close to a chips ahoy in a protein category you'll ever get. Yeah. Or a biscuit, right? You yeah, yeah. Cookies, we have all kinds of cookies. I just yeah. wonder if someone could sell these cookies as inclusions so you'd have higher protein inclusions. Ooh. You could, you could, I mean, and in, in reality, you could use, depending on your baking mold or whatever, you could do the little tiny bite-sized ones, like uh, what, I mean, what are yeah. they, Famous Amos or whatever, yeah, in the yeah. bag. You could probably do a massive cookie if you wanted, I guess. This is the range of clear proteins, which I know we sent you in the beginning. Um, I know we briefly touched on all of them, um, ISO water shake being the main focus. But giving you the rundown, so the first one we're gonna start with is clear shake, whey protein isolate. It's pre-acidified. So the clear space always has been pre-acidified. This is just our version of it, which of course is better. Um, it's much cleaner. You'll notice minimal astringency, uh, no off dairy notes. But we did it with uh, US based flavor house, as we said, and it's a lemonade flavor. Okay, now time out. Clear shake is Acidified. meant to go into an RTD. Nope. No, These are all powder. Okay. okay. We'll move to beverage later. So clear shake is just the, the more robust flavor. So think aminos, pre workouts, all of those are typically very high acid formulas. A scoop, so that flavor profile and everything, that would be the equivalent of a 20 gram protein scoop. No carb, no fat. Okay. Cheers, gentlemen. It is an acidified. I can tell it's an acidified. Yeah, yeah. it's fine. still better. You don't get the milky note, the nope. texture. The, yeah, it's a little the, bit there. So the next one is, that's actually BLG. So that's the BLG neutral. So more along the lines of what the ISO water shake is, just in the beta-lactoglobulin. 
So uh, it's gonna be a melon punch flavor. I was, I was smelling fruit punch, so. Good. All right. And I'm that's the Derek. one that we'll do the feature on, which is the higher BCAAs, we've seen all of that. Yeah. Very mild on the initial sip. Oh, you can just crush a whole bottle of this, no problem. But yeah, to your point, the entrance, 45% more leucine, 26% more essential aminos, and 40% more BCAAs. So instead of sipping on an EAA during your workout, why not go with the real thing? Yeah. It's so refreshing, right? Yeah. While you're bodybuilding, yeah. you get you get that branch chain amino acid. For a long time. You know. For a long time we've had to drink, you know, just amino acids instead of a, a thick protein shake. This could just go straight into, into your workout with your carbs, electrolytes, stuff like that. And virtually no difference from your normal amino acid flavor. And even by itself, it's more refreshing than amino because it's such a yeah. clean, clean palate. Yeah. yeah, amino acids don't have the best taste. I think we've all like normalized it. But, but it's got that cardboard, there's something, you know, with that. Yeah, and they smell weird too. That, thing, that smells amazing. Did the whole feature with on you guys, but it's a different spin on flavor. It's cucumber mint. So it shows the versatility of you can go with the traditional mainstream flavors or you can literally go lifestyle and hit the spa. Basically. Yeah. This wow. Is good. Yeah, that mint. yeah. Mint. You can do like a real easy mojito. Yeah. So this one, this bottle has 21 grams of protein in it. Just that little guy. Just this little guy. So it's our beta electroglobulin, so BLG, in a shot format. 21 grams of protein in a shot. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's really that's good. That's it. I would drink one of those post-workout every day. That's easy. That's, that's the simplest thing ever. And we'll, we'll navigate to the standard, well not standard, but BLG RTD. So this is also the acidified. Um, but you'll notice that the level of astringency is virtually non-existent because of the purity. But this is a strawberry watermelon BLG. So this is 6% protein. Uh, that was water. Yeah. There you go. Finished with the neutral ISO water. Uh, save the, I won't say the best because they're all good. But the, seriously, the most eye-opening. Really it's watermelon, but it's, oh, yeah. it's as close to water as you'll get. It's very white. It's as close to a flavored water as you'll get. I it smell that good. nice. Oh, yeah. Try it? Yeah. I, I just went Holy right in. crap. Flavored water. There's no thickness to it at all. The thing is that, that but there's zero milk in it. It's just protein and calcium. So wow. through, through this small uh, beverage, you'll get up to 50% of your daily required intake of calcium, protein, and we call it latte because it looks milky, but there's no milk. Okay. It's a black tea That's fun. Or Similar to that, but slightly different, is the cold brew vanilla iced coffee. This so, same it. ingredient, the Mysel Pure. Um, I went in and poured it for you guys. So this one is, in this size can, but obviously we'll talk the big size. So this would be like a serving size you find in the market. 20 grams of protein, 300 mg of caffeine, and then still low fat, low sugar. I love to go to like Wegmans and pick up like the, you know, the special coffee cans and whatever. Yeah. But very few of them have considerable amount of protein. You know, right, this. Yeah. and the better for you crowd, it's like protein yeah, coffee yeah. has five yeah. grams of protein. Super coffee is also low. So this, this one is. is a protein carbonated beverage. So it features whey protein hydrolysate, extensively hydrolyzed. So like almost at the DH30. Um, so hydrolyzed whey protein, it is a lower dose. Uh, I think that this can is like 12 grams, if mm. you wanna say. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Is this carbonated? Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Sparkly. Sparkly. Yeah. Sparkly. Sparkly. Yeah. Sparkly. Yeah. protein soda. Punch. Everything you've done is incredible. That's fun. All these concepts, I mean, in reality, pick your favorite brand, have them get in contact with us. We provide the recipes for everything showcased here. And then from there, we can connect them with the co-manufacturers that have capabilities. And we can actually help them step-by-step -step bring these products to market.